What should you do when you have hyperglycemia or high blood sugar? This is part 3 of the insulin titration series. Blood sugar levels have to be maintained within a specific target level recommended to you by your doctor. These are the recommended blood sugar levels for non-pregnant individuals. Pre-meal blood sugar levels should be 80 to 130 mg per deciliter. Two hours post-meal blood sugar level should be less than 180 mg per deciliter. Older individuals, those with diseases like cancer, kidney, or heart problems prone to hypoglycemia or pregnant may have different target levels. Ask your doctor about this. If your blood sugar levels are always above your target despite proper diet and correct medication, you may need to adjust your insulin. These are the steps in adjusting your insulin if you are on Glargine, Isophane Insulin, Bedtime Isophane Insulin, Deglodec or Detemir. First, check your fasting blood sugar for 3 consecutive days. Second, add the results for days 1, 2, and 3. Third, divide the sum by 3 to get the average. Fourth, after getting the average, look at this reference table to determine the amount of insulin to be added to your previous insulin dose. If the average blood sugar is 70 to 130 mg per deciliter, there's no need to change your insulin dose. If the average blood sugar is 131 to 200 mg per deciliter, add 2 units to your current insulin dose. If it is more than 200 mg per deciliter, add 4 units to your current insulin dose. Fifth, inject your new insulin dose. Continue monitoring your blood sugar and adjust your insulin as necessary until your fasting blood sugar is less than 130 mg per deciliter. Here is an example of insulin adjustment in a person using Glargine at 10 units subcutaneously once daily. Fasting blood sugar was obtained on days 1 to 3 with the following results. Day 1, 141 mg per deciliter, day 2, 150 mg per deciliter, and day 3, 153 mg per deciliter. Adding days 1 to 3, 141 plus 150 plus 153, a sum of 444 was obtained. Dividing 444 by 3 days, or 444 divided by 3, the average would be 148 mg per deciliter. Based on the reference table below, the average fasting blood sugar of 148 mg per deciliter would be within the 131 to 200 mg per deciliter range. Therefore, Two units should be added to the current insulin dose. The patient was on 10 units of insulin glargine. 10 units plus a 2 units adjustment dose is equal to 12 units. 12 units would be the new insulin dose. Continue monitoring our fasting blood sugar and adjust your insulin dose as necessary. These are the instructions for adjusting twice daily insulins such as biphasic human insulin, biphasic insulin aspart, biphasic insulin lispro, or insulin deglodec with aspart. If the average fasting blood sugar in the morning is higher than the target, increase the bedtime insulin dose. If in the evening, the average pre-dinner blood sugar is higher than the target. Increase your pre-breakfast insulin the following day. Here is an example of a patient using pre-mixed or combination insulin. His pre-dinner blood sugar is always above target after injecting 
20 units of premixed insulin 70-30 in the morning. His pre-dinner sugars were as follows for three consecutive days. Day 1, 204 mg per deciliter. Day 2, 213 mg per deciliter. And day 3, 252 mg per deciliter. Adding the values for three days, 204 plus 213 plus 252, a sum of 669 is obtained. Dividing 669 by 3 days, the average blood sugar is 223 mg per deciliter. Based on this table, 223 mg per deciliter is above the 200 mg per deciliter level. Therefore, 4 units of insulin should be added to the current morning insulin dose. The patient's pre-mixed insulin 7030 was at 20 units. 20 units plus 4 units insulin adjustment dose is equal to 24 units. Thus, the new premixed 7030 insulin dose in the morning is 24 units. The patient has to continue monitoring his pre-dinner blood sugar and adjust the dose once more as necessary. Remember, if pre-breakfast sugars are high, adjust the pre-dinner insulin. If pre-dinner sugars are high, adjust the pre-breakfast insulin. Reminder, if your blood sugar improves, do not go back to the previous dose of insulin. Maintain the new dose, but adjust as necessary. Also, if a person's blood sugars are always high, combined with weakness, dehydration, or increased sleeping time, Contact your doctor or go to the hospital. This is a message from the Philippine Society of Endocrinology, Diabetes, and Metabolism, PSEDM Diabetes Advocacy and Study Council.